morning guys, so today is Sunday, so today I thought I would do a self care Sunday video, we're going to be doing our tan together, we're going to be doing skincare, we're going to be just really kind of, the hands are back guys. <laughs> Now that it's getting a little bit colder outside, all I want to do is just hibernate at home. So we're going to be having a little cosy day today and yeah, we're just going to be treating ourselves because it's a Sunday. In today's video, you're going to watch me take my tan off. Not that I have much tan on anyway, but we're going to take tan off. We're going to reapply. I'm going to be doing a little skincare segment to this video where I talk about what skincare products I use. Now that it's getting a lot colder outside, eczema's flaring up. I don't know if you can see. I've got like little patches like all over my face. And my back is absolutely horrendous. I don't know what it is. It's probably a mixture of fake tan and whatnot, but my back is so dry. And I also itch. I do that a lot. So yeah. And we're going to be painting our nails because, well, I literally did them the other day and they're already chipped. So we're going to redo that as well. So yeah, first we're gonna take our tan off. Uh, tuh. I tut as well. I don't know why, but I tut and it pisses me off. Okay, so we've got our comfies on. Get used to this jumper because it's all I wear around the house. <laughs> That's not an exaggeration either. To kick off our self-care Sunday video, we're going to take our tan off. So I'm going to see if I can take you into the bathroom. Who knows? We'll see. Welcome to the inside of my bathroom. We're going to be taking our tan off. The hair's gone up in a top bun. And we're going to be using the Bondi Sands Tan Eraser. Essentially what you do is you put it all over your body. Rub it in. It's just like the Bondi Sands Mousse. If you use their fake tan. Uh, you just put it all over your body. Wait five minutes. Jump in the shower. And then you scrub it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake it. Because it goes a bit funny sometimes. And I'm just going to put... A generous amount on my arms. Love that noise. So literally just coating it all over. I'm just gonna show you my top half as a demo because I'll need to do the rest when I'm in the shower. So I'll wait five minutes for this to kind of do its thing. And then in the shower, I will grab my little flower. I don't I actually don't know what these are called. But anyway, I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to use Soap and Glory Scrubby Life and I'll use both of these together to really exfoliate the rest of my tan off. So I've been doing this the last couple of times I've been doing my tan and it's all come off, especially my feet. I don't know if anyone else has the problem of it like sticking to like dry bits on your feet, but I do. So using these two products together in the shower, I found has really helped to get everything off. And then you get more of a smoother application. So I'm now going to do the rest of my body off camera. And then once I'm out of the shower, I'll show you the results. So now that I'm out of the shower, uh, all my tan has come off. And I'm now going to do skincare because I don't apply my tan straight away after I've been in the shower. Just because your pores will be all open. So I want to make sure that I'm a little bit cold before I put my fake tan on. Because it lasts longer and you don't get that awful holy speckly strawberry legs although since i have started waxing my legs i've noticed a massive difference um with how i apply fake tan it just goes on a lot smoother that's something to keep in mind as well i wanted to include a little skincare section in this just because at the minute my skin isn't at its best put a lot of time and effort into my skincare routine but because of the change of weather and it being a lot more colder now my skin is like Whoa! No. So since it's been colder, <coughs> now that the weather is getting a lot colder now, my skin is really starting to suffer at the minute. So I'm just going to talk to you about a couple of products that I've been using and also to kind of show you that skin is skin. You're going to get breakouts and you're going to get eczema and all of that. I know from when I was in my blog days, I did a couple of pages on my eczema story as such. So if you want to check that out, you can. I can do a video on it as well. Now that it's getting a bit colder and stuff, my eczema is going to start flaring out. Like, I don't know if you can tell on my back. Like, I think it's like here. And like, especially like 
up here my eczema's at its worst at the minute so I have a feeling every like winter it changes <laughs> I know it sounds really bizarre but when I had my blog it was all on my scalp I had really bad psoriasis and eczema on my scalp the winter before that it was all on my chest and there's pictures on my blog if you want to see that or I actually to be fair I could insert it here so I'll show you the pictures of what it was like when it was all over my chest and all up my neck I don't think I took any photos of when it was on my scalp because you couldn't really see it although it flaked everywhere and it was literally such a nightmare but now it's little patches on my face so I don't know if you can see coming a bit closer I've got a little bit there that's dry I've got it all under my eye here so if I catch it soon and I really stay on top of it I can prevent it but some cases you just can't yeah let me know if you want me to do a video on eczema because I can but for now I'm just going to talk to you about my skincare products so the first couple of products I'm going to be talking to you about were products that I bought specifically for targeted areas and problems that I had I noticed with a lot of my skincare I still had a lot of texture especially when I was applying highlighter I used to get a lot of texture around these kind of areas um, I'm not that bad for breakouts although I've got two here so all my skincare that I keep every day is just in this little acrylic box this was an acrylic drawer that used to sit on my desk but I've just taken the trays out I just needed somewhere to keep all my everyday skincare and this was kicking about and it works really well for me because it's easy to transfer from the bathroom to my desk which is where we're set up now so sorry about all the clunking by the way the first product I'm going to be showing you is the St Ives exfoliator this is an apricot scrub this I think was literally like two or three pounds from B&M I just spotted it in there and thought oh okay I'll try that I am a sucker for wanting to try out new products and this was really inexpensive so I thought I'd give it a go because a lot of my friends use it as well so before I bought this I was using the Nip and Fab Glycoric Scrub Fix which is on the pricier side which I think if I remember my thought process on that day the reason why I bought this was because it was a lot cheaper than this one this is again really really good from a price point it's not something that I could afford to buy all of the time so that's why I switched over to this one but I will use either one I personally prefer my scrubs to be quite like gritty if that makes sense I used to have the Dermalogica one the everyday kind of like rice consistency I mean it was nice but I feel like it didn't really do much to my skin whereas with these two because I can feel it I know it's working if that makes sense but that's a running theme throughout my whole skincare so yeah so this one I've been using pretty much every, well every other day and then this was the one I was using before uh, depending on how much you want to spend they're both as not they're both as good this one smells a lot nicer this one doesn't really have a scent to it I don't think once we have exfoliated and whatnot I have actually I did use this a minute ago I'm going to show you and talk to you as I apply it to my face so the next one is the Ola Hendrickson dark spot toner from their transform range I bought this because Jamie Genevieve bought it so therefore I was going to buy it and to be fair I haven't regretted it I really haven't this is really really good I have noticed a difference when I don't use this sometimes when I'm feeling extra lazy I will just take my makeup off and put a moisturizer on and I've, I've I find out the next day like why I should have done it so with the dark spot toner I've just got the website up on my phone and it says that it's for dark spots lines wrinkles and uneven texture and it also said if you've been spending too much time in tanning beds or baking under the sun it's time to alone with your skin sins hmm interesting I didn't know about that so this product and the next two are ones that I bought for targeted areas so I used to get really bad texture like I said so when I'm really consistent with this product I have noticed that I don't have I have like next to nothing texture so with this product I'm just going to take it on a cotton pad and just put it put a generous amount and then I will literally just like sweep it across my face always try and push up as well that was a tip that Desi Perkins told me to always swipe your products up especially on your neck because we're trying to fight against gravity so thanks Desi 
So once I've done that, I will move on to these two products here. So they're both from the brand called The Ordinary. These can be bought on Beauty Bay, Cult Beauty and their official website. So the first one, oh my god, I'm going to have to pronounce this. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to use is the Niacinamide Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. I will link these down below because my pronunciation is not the best. So again, this compacts with texture and also it's a serum, so it's going to be really hydrating on my skin as well. It comes with a little pipette and I will literally just put three drops and rub it in. Probably best if I do that. There we go. And then this is the other ordinary one. This is a lactic acid. This is only applied at night time, so I'm not going to apply it now. But if I was about to jump into bed, I'll just put, I think it like three drops. Again, this comes in the little pipette. Just three drops on your finger, rub it together, and then pass it into the face. That, again, I think is only about five pounds. So, again, really inexpensive. I am also going to quickly talk about this mask as well. This again is from The Ordinary. It says to only use twice a week maximum. It is a AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. So you essentially just put a couple of drops on your face again. So with The Ordinary, I really like that they all come in the pipettes just because it's a little bit more hygienic than like putting your finger in like a cream. So yeah, you just put a couple of drops on your face, rub it in, and then it's kind of like a pinky red mask. So I've been using this a couple of times, but again really inexpensive once all the serums are on i will then go in with literally my best friend so a couple of years ago i got told to use this moisturizer it's the aveeno daily moisturizing lotion i've got the lavender one at the minute they do a sweet almond oil one as well i buy this from savers and home bargains just because it is a little bit cheaper than uh, big retail stores so I apply this as much as I can I like to use this on my body as well just for when I'm feeling a little bit dry and obviously like I said I get really bad eczema on my back so I do get my housemate to put this on my back thanks Elle I absolutely love this you can't go wrong with this and it's actually meant they do a vino baby as well they've got a baby brand which a lot of my uh, mummy friends use the Aveeno Baby and when I was using makeup wipes I used to use the Baby Aveeno but I don't anymore. Again I like that it comes in a pump the consistency is really really thick as well but you just can't go wrong you know I did actually have to go down my neck because I put way too much on but anyway now that we've moisturised we're feeling all nice we're going to put a facial spray on Oh. Now that we've moisturised, normally what I will put on my face next is when I've got a fake tan on. As we're going to be fake tanning in a minute, I'm just going to spray my face with this. This is the Utan and Jamie Genevieve collection, or their collaboration. It's the CBD Tanning Water Gradual Face Facial Mist. I absolutely love this. I love putting it on before bed because it's just so calming on the skin. I've got my lavender and then I've got my CBD oil spray. Like, it's... It's a dream together, put it that way. And as you can see, I've literally got like the smallest amount left, so I do actually need to buy some more of that. So just... Now that skincare is done, I am just gonna wait a little bit longer until I put fake tan on. So I'm gonna go stick on some lunch, you're gonna come with me, and then we'll go back to tanning.
back in a bun and we're gonna fake tan so these are the two products that I use this hair is becoming a bit of a problem the fake tan mitt I use is the Sienna X luxury fake tan mitt uh, I want to say this was like three pounds something but they are you can just put them in the washing machine they are washable so I feel like it's an investment I've got three <laughs> so with our Sienna X fake tan mitt we are going to use the U-Tan Turbo Self-Tan Mousse. The colour is absolutely stunning. Like, the colour is absolutely stunning. I am obsessed with it. And it's cherry scented as well. And it just smells... God, it just smells delicious. So I'm just going to show you how I tan my upper body. Then I'm going to do the rest off camera. So I'm just going to... Can you tell that I'm at the end? So just look at that colour, like it's, it's just so nice. So I will just go up my arm, like so. Look at that colour difference. I do just have my big mirror behind you, so I'm just going to look in the mirror. And then I leave my hands till the very last second so don't feel like I've missed my hands out because I do that on purpose reach round I also find if you do it in almost like brush stroke actions it goes on a lot smoother because I used to do the whole backwards and forwards and I just I just don't think it works if I'm being completely honest. No. I find it so satisfying when you go round the jawline. I don't know what it is. Until it's all done. I'm going to need some help doing my back. I'm just going to need to do it. So for my tummy and my legs, I always brush upwards because I read somewhere that you should brush in the direction of your heart. It's worked for me so far. So we'll see. So guys, it's now been a couple of hours and I'm feeling super relaxed. I am getting more tanned by the minute. I am now going to close out today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.